Some recordings ask why why are Ethereum and Bitcoin so highly correlated? Because they're both crypto assets, right? And they're both assets that um, um, people trust, and uh, and of course, uh, excuse me, the, because their assets are are, are what uh, people trust, and uh, and they're solid. The people are going to buy them, and there's limited supply, very limited supply. So they're gonna they're gonna move fast. Alrighty, next question. Next question. RRR9 ask, Da Vinci, tell us, how did you deal with the temptation to sell over the years? I did not deal with the <laughs> temptation. I sold a lot over the years, and I, I also gambled a lot. Um, during the, the, uh, the bear market of, of between 2013 and uh, 2017, I ended up losing about five, 600 Bitcoin bad trades right um also spent i remember one time oh my god uh, my stomach turned when i think about it um in order to survive for at one point i spent 260 bitcoins in one month back when they were like less than 200 bucks do you what spent 260 bitcoins <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. how much they were worth? They were less than $200. Oh, man. That that hurt a lot. Oh, man. That hurt a lot. It Not only because it hurt because it was like, it, I, 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 after the fact pain, it was because I knew that it was going to go like a lot higher and I was not going to, I was going to be missing out. It was rough. It was rough. Wow. Well, at least it didn't get you out of the game. No. Uh, what came, what came, what saved me was uh, Brian Beamish and the rational investor, right? When I learned how to trade, um, and I uh, ended up, um, you know, turning a small amount of Bitcoin, like fifty Bitcoin, into seven hundred and fifty Bitcoin through trading a little like eighty strike style. What? Yep. You did that much? Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. That is, that is very impressive. Yeah, yeah. Now it's this year. This this, this bull mark. This bear market did not do turn out pan out very well. Let's see what happens in the next uh, as um, as we go into the the uh, the final bull run of Bitcoin. Uh, I think we have to see the uh, the retail come into the all sense space, and then yeah, we'll see some final some some movements in the uh, alts finally. All right, next question. Next question, Mr. Feng Shui asks, could there be one more shakeout in the form of a lower high and then another twenty percent drop? Uh, lower high. Um... Maybe, but um, yeah, maybe we don't know how it's gonna play out. But it's um, I wish wish I got into a nice trade position. Um, I closed out my trade position uh, at thirty three uh, thousand, well well above that. But uh, I should have opened up another one um, um, below the thirty three thousand level and held it. But I was just so nervous. I didn't know where it was going to end, and I should have just like as soon as I saw it, it was like bouncing around the thirty thousand dollars level. That's when I should have pulled the trigger. But I was having too much fun with the videos that I wasn't paying really c close attention to what I should be trading, what should I be buying. I was most likely just you know like doing the small ins and out kind of crap, and that was not not the. Um, what not something like I was doing a, a long term hey looking at it in a long term perspective I was looking at it a very short term perspective and when you have a short term tunnel vision you do the fail to see the bigger picture and that's what I did and, uh, and yeah I wish I had saw the bigger picture all right next question next question give Alan ask did you hear about Ron Paul's deplatforming do you think we'll see large growth in decentralized social media? 
Oh, yeah. I always wanted to talk about that. Uh, where uh, You know how um, Trump has been completely deplatformed? Yes. Right? I, yes. I don't agree with what the, the, the they do, what they're doing, all these corporations, but I, and I agree at the same time. So what does that mean? I agree, don't agree, and I agree at the same time. I agree that this is their, their company. They can do whatever the frick they want. I don't agree that they get a special uh, license, the special uh, laws against them, so that special laws created for them, so that hey, you know what? If if the if somebody puts bad content on my website, uh, I, I'm not liable, okay? But you censor the content, so either you censor, either you make it free and available to everybody, and no censor, and then you're not liable, or you uh, censor, and then you are liable. I think that's that's my problem, right? So you have to censor, and then you're also liable, or you have to be f- open and free, and you're not liable. There's no in between, right? That's how I feel. Um, so uh, if they want to censor, they have to fall in the, the category of being uh, falling under the. Um, the rules uh, of, uh, you know, uh, the decency and all that kind of stuff, uh, all that, uh, everything that uh, the government has laid out. But if they don't want to be, if they don't want to follow those rules, that's fine. Then they have to censor nobody. That's all, that's how I feel about that. And and since they get their, they're, they're getting their cake and eating it too, right? Go right ahead. The market always destroys you, right? The market will destroy them because they're censoring. And so I'm... I'm glad that they're doing this. I want them to do more. I want them to censor as much people as possible. Why? Because it will be faster to their destruction. Faster to decentralization applications. Faster to making it uh, to making them obsolete and useless. Right? And the more they censor people. So that's why I hope they censor as much people as possible. All right. Next question. I like it. I agree.